I'm now going to show you how to correct the problem of an off-center reed tongue. This is where the tongue is bumping into the side of the reed shoe. This is what it sounds like. Kind of sounds like a baby crying. So it should sound like that, but that's what we get. And it, it might just be, it might almost be a pure note with just a little tiny metallic. Uh, buzziness to it also that's another symptom of this problem um, you just have to kind of open it up and see I've already loosened three of the screws so I'll just take out the other three remember which button it was that was causing the problem we're gonna identify the problem read the same way if you saw the loose read video the same way basically we're gonna open it up Keep the buttons together, keep it with the end. Okay, we're gonna pull out the gasket. And then we're gonna press the button that had the problem, find the hole on the pad board, which one's opening, line it up with the reed frame, I'm sorry, with the, with the bellows, and see which chamber that that pad opens over. And here, it's the A-sharp note, so this would be the problem note, it's on the pull side. Okay, these are the push side notes on the other side, but this was a pull note that had the problem. So what's happening is the tongue, if you can see that, is bumping against the reed shoe itself, and that's causing that metallic -y sound. You can kind of hear it right there. So there's different ways you can fix this. The easiest way is just to take the screwdriver. If you can tell what side it's pressing on, you could just gently press it with the screwdriver till it was clear and free. You just barely press on it, try it till it finally frees up. The first thing though, that you should do is pull it out and push it back in and see if the problem has gone away because sometimes the wood can swell and it pinches the tongue, pinches the frame into the tongue. Um, another way you can fix the problem, pull the shoe out, it just slides out. If you have a light table, we're going to pretend this is the light table, you can set it down on that and you can look on the sides, look straight down on it, and you can see the light coming through. You can't tell here because it's just a piece of paper, but you would see more light on one side, and then we can, I'll show you how you can move it to center it. Um, another way, you can hold it up to a light and try to look through it that way. We've got fluorescent lights up here. You can lay it on a lampshade. That's another good way as well, and that kind of works as a light table, and just try to see the light on the sides. The way you can fix this, again, you could gently press it with a screwdriver. An easier way is to take a piece of paper and fold it in half. Sometimes this tears, so it's actually best to fold it twice. Slide the paper like right in the middle under the tongue like this, and then just gently pull it to the side. And then check it again on your light source to see that it's clear. Um, in some of my instruments, I've included this little foil. If it's not already folded, you can fold it in half and do it the same way, just, this one's torn, but you could just slip it under there and tug on it gently, and check on the light source. Um, might take a few tries, but press it back in, reassemble the instrument and try it out, and eventually you'll be able to fix that problem.